Well, hello, dear partners. Stephen Carlton here in the Arctic Hope Igloo, and just really wanted to spend a couple moments with you this uh, this week. We, um, you know, it's a great time to be alive. It's great what God is doing. It's amazing His love. It's amazing, you know, how He's redeemed us, how He saved us, how so many things that God has done for you and I. And really, I just want to take a moment to to remember two of those things. You know, David in uh, in Psalm one hundred and three. He told us, told us a few things, and we'll start in verse 1, and uh, I'm reading in the the Amplified, it says, uh, Bless and affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deep within me, bless his holy name. In verse 2, it says, uh, bless and affectionately praise the Lord on my soul and forget none of his benefits. In two verses here, David is reminding himself, reminding his soul deep down within himself to praise God, to love God, to affectionately praise God. And I think that's something for you and I to really ponder on today is why is it so important to praise God? Why is David so, so adamant in telling himself with real emotion and and deep appreciation for God, to tell himself to praise the Lord. I I think it's because David knew how great, how amazing, how wonderful God was. And if there's one thing that we can say today is, God, show us more of how amazing you really are. And I think when we say those things, when we ask for those things, God shows up, shows us just one other thing about himself, and we become so absolutely in love, so appreciative, so in awe of who God is. And, you know, David tells himself, tells his soul to praise the Lord, to affectionately praise his name. And, you know, the later part of of verse 2, it says, And do not forget any of his benefits. And we're, we're just going to go over a couple here because I think it's a really amazing thing. In verse 3 it says, God, who he who forgives all of our sins. And certainly, you know, as a young man who had quite a history of, uh, of alcohol abuse and partying, I certainly appreciate that verse, that God has forgiven all of my sins. That as long as, you know, I'm walking with him and, and I've, I've asked for his forgiveness, I, I think it's... Man, I mean, that's amazing. And second part of verse 3, and this is something I want you to be encouraged with, is God heals all of our diseases. David in verse 2 said, forget none of his benefits. And two things he lists there in verse 3, forgives all of our sins and heals all of our diseases. That's a promise for you and I. You know, and you you read in uh, in Isaiah 53 and verse 5, this is a New Living Translation, it says, Jesus was pierced for our rebellion. He was crushed for our sins. He was beaten so that you and I could be whole. I mean, my goodness. And in, you know, the the last part of that verse, he was whipped. He was whipped so you and I could be healed. I mean, Jesus really is the, uh, the, the sacrificial lamb. Um... I mean, how beautiful is it that that Jesus? I mean, I, I don't even, I don't even think that words can can properly say how amazing it is the the things he did for you and I. How his body was broken, in the most brutal fashion, I'm sure, broken so that you and I could stand on these promises and thank God that our sins are taken care of, that we have right standing with God, and and secondly. That our bodies are made whole. Like, it's a promise. It's something that Jesus was sacrificed for. So that our bodies could be healed. Folks, I love you. So appreciate your partnership. Um, we're, we're seeing God move right across Canada. Right across the Arctic. And, and, and all across uh, Arctic Russia with, with Igor going so hard that he is this year. 2019. Folks, appreciate you. Love you. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.